Guys, if I'll ask you what is the cost of fixing bugs in production, then most of you will say it's too much, right? It's too much because you heard it from someone or you read it somewhere. But how much does it cost in terms of numbers, in terms of dollar? How much money does it really cost? In this video, I will explain different scenarios and different factors which give us a very decent idea about the cost of fixing bugs not only in the production but at the different stages of the software development life cycle. Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I'm your friend Suresh Tube, and in this video, we are going to do cost analysis for fixing bugs found in production. To understand this, I'm going to refer a report which is published by NIST on software testing. NIST NIST is a US Department of Commerce agency which is founded in 1901 and this agency publish a different reports for different sectors. So these are the points that we are going to discuss today. We will see what is the cost factor graph based on the NIST report and we will also see what is the real cost in terms of number, in terms of dollar for one bug and we will take it as a benchmark for further discussion and also we are going to compare different scenarios. One scenario is where we found more bugs in the production and another scenario is where we found less bugs in the production and we will do cost comparison also in these two scenarios and we will understand how much money we can save by reducing the bugs in the production. And at the end we will also understand why the cost of production bug is high. Why does it cost more money in terms of fixing? So we will see what are the different factors which plays an important role in high cost. So this is the graph that I was talking about. Here we have different stages at the x-axis. For example, requirement gathering and analysis. Second stage is coding or unit testing. Third one is the integration and component, beta testing and post-production releases. And on the y-axis we have a cost factor. Suppose our cost is x, then here we have cost factors like 5x, 10x, 15x likewise. This graph is the basis for our further discussion. So we will understand the complete calculation by considering a real cost in place of x in, in coming few seconds. But this is the graph that we have to refer and we have to understand. This is going to set a good benchmark for our further discussion. But from this graph, we can understand that if you find a bug in the requirement gathering first phase, then the cost would be x, 1x, right? And the cost would be 5x if the same bug is found in the coding or unit tests. If you find the same bug in the third stage, which is integration and component, then the cost would be 10x, right? And if the same bug is found, during beta testing program then that cost would be 15x and if you find the same bug in the post production after it went to production then the cost of fixing that bug would be 30x in the first stage requirement gathering and analysis it was 1x and in the post production release it is 30x so it is a drastic change it is a significant change that we are seeing in terms of cost factor as we are moving ahead in the different phases, cost is also increasing drastically. Based on this graph, let's consider a bug fix cost as $100. This is the cost that we are considering to fix one bug. In reality, different bugs and different types of bugs may have different bug fix cost. But for a simple calculation, let's consider it as a $100 for one bug. Let it be any type. And here we have different phases. So we have requirement gathering, coding or unit test, integration, beta testing and post production release. Considering $100 for one bug and referring this graph where we have 1x, 5x, 10x, 15x and 30x in the post production. Based on that cost factor, this would be real numbers. So here if the bug is found in the requirement gathering stage then that would cost $100. If it is found in the coding or unit test stage then that would be $500 and in integration that would be $1000. Likewise 
in the post production release fixing of the same bug would be $3000 where the cost for fixing the same bug in the requirement gathering stage is just $100 so here we are considering only one bug and for one bug also we are seeing a drastic change in terms of cost in the first phase it is $100 and after post production it is $3000 so these are the numbers which i have generated based on this factors basis this calculation let's compare two different scenarios and see how much cost difference is there that we can save by detecting bug early in the cycle so here we have two scenarios one scenario is where i am saying poor testing scenario and another one is a good testing scenario and here also we have consider $100 for fixing a one bug and in poor testing scenario so this is the distribution of bug found in the different stages in the requirement gathering we found one bug in the coding phase seven integration four bugs and during beta testing number of defect found is eight and in post production we have a higher number of defects found so this is a poor testing scenario it means the number of bugs found in the production is high compared to the number of bugs found in other four stages and here we have a total cost column which is a multiplication of cost for one bug into number of defects number of bugs so in the requirement gathering that is 100 into 1 equal to 100 in the coding phase it is 500 dollar for one bug and the number of bugs number of defects found is 7 so that is 500 into 7 equal to 3500 similarly for the post production 3000 dollar is the cost for fixing one bug in the production we found 30 bugs so total cost would be 90000 and the sum of these costs for different stages would be 109600 for all 50 bucks so this was the scenario this was the cost in poor testing scenario coming to good testing scenario so it is a good because here the number of defects found in the production is less compared to other stages so here also we have the same columns and the bug fix cost is $100 as a benchmark and uh, here in the requirement gathering we have 5 defects in the coding 17, 10, 8 but in the production we have only 10 defects whereas in the poor testing scenario there was 30 defects found in production so compared to this we have a good status over here so we found only 10 defects in the production so here also I have calculated the cost in the same way and here the total cost for the 50 bucks would be $61,000 here also we had 50 bucks but cost was 109600 and here also we have 50 bucks but cost is just $61,000 looking at the difference $48,000 is the cost that we are paying extra because of poor testing this is what happening if you have a poor testing scenario if you are finding a more bugs in the production then that is not a good sign for the project not a good sign for the organization with this calculation we can clearly see what is the cost difference and this cost difference is just for the 50 bucks right if you will increase this number then accordingly you can calculate how much difference would be in terms of number in terms of money now you may say like okay we understood the calculation and the cost difference but why this cost is very high why fixing the production bug is costlier compared to other phases it is happening because of long workflow what i mean by long workflow is as soon as a bug is found in the production so there are certain stages there are certain steps that that we have to follow and because of long workflow because of comparatively more steps are there that we have to follow cost is increasing according to that so I have noted down few factors there may be few other factors which you guys can suggest you guys can add and do the calculation but these are the few important steps that I have listed down over here so as soon as bug is found in the production someone has to log it right either customer or operation team will log, log the bug 
and after that developer do analysis on the production bug they will try to locate the the problem area they will try to locate the bug and after that they will try to reproduce the same bug in the development environment and if it is reproducible it may take couple of days also and as soon as it is reproducible they will work on the fix they will deploy the fix qa team will will get the fix and they also need to perform a sanity check before releasing it to production again and then the release has to be planned and uh, once it is released again we need to qa need to validate in the production so these are the few high level steps that i have noted down this is what i mean by long workflow so here we have around 11 steps when the bug is found in the production if we will talk about the bug found in the unit testing phase or requirement gathering phase then that would be hardly 2 3 steps only but here we have around 11 steps that we have to follow so that is the reason because of long workflow it is going to take more days and according to days the cost will also increase here i also wanted to highlight one more point is all this calculation and discussion is around qa or testing approaches only right because because here in the scenario comparison in the poor testing scenario number of defect is high in the post production and in the good testing scenario number of defect is comparatively low in the post production so it clearly shows that there is a important role of qa and qa team and the testing processes right so here as a qa we should follow all the standard practice and all the defined processes while testing the application if you think there is a gap in the processes which should be fixed or improved over the time then you should highlight it appropriately in the right forum to the management to the testing management so as a qa it's our responsibility to highlight if there are any gap or if you think we need to redefine our process so that we can minimize the bugs found in the production and which is going to save a huge cost to the organization to the company that can be utilized somewhere else all right so that was the cost analysis that i wanted to explain i wanted to discuss in this video i hope you guys have now fair understanding of the cost of fixing the production bug that's it for this video guys let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any doubt and i'll see you soon with another great topic meanwhile if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you